How's it going everybody? I'm Daniel, this is Animal Tech and today I got a new video to show you how you can reset your Mac to factory settings. That means erase all of its data, wipe out the hard drive. You may want to do that for two reasons. Reason number one is that if you want to sell your Mac. So if you want to do it, just follow this process and I'll show you how to clean your Mac and just remove all of its data. And reason number two, and that's my reason, is your Mac is getting a little bit slow because of its time, it's getting a little bit old and it's getting very slow and you just can't remove the data from its hard drive and the hard drive is always full. And the reason for that is that over, over the years you get lots of lots of unwanted files, junk files and things like that that are really really hard to track and find. So for that reason we're gonna erase the hard drive. So what you're gonna need is a hard drive, an external hard drive, so you can pretty much save all the important data you want and your Mac. And that's pretty much it. The process is very simple. It takes a little bit of time because of the downloading and, the, and reinstalling the new software all over again. But believe me, it is worth it. I've done it before and you get a fresh new computer. It's great. Let's go. As I said, make sure to use a hard drive to save all your information. I don't recommend really using Time Machine because if you use Time Machine, you will save a whole copy of your hard drive in your HD and then you're going to get all the junk and all the things you actually want to get erased. So then if you're doing this for the purpose of making your machine faster, I don't recommend using Time Machine. I recommend going through file through file and then uh, application through applications and photos by photos and then just saving all of those files individually to a hard drive. So then you actually just get what you need, okay? So make sure to do that. If you're selling your, your Mac, no problem. Get a copy of Time Machine because you want everything that is in it to move to the next Mac that you're gonna buy. Okay, step number two. Uh, you're gonna need to disable iCloud, okay? So let's go ahead and go through System Preferences. Let me zoom in a little bit. And then you wanna go to iCloud right here then what you want to do is sign out and put your Apple ID okay iCloud has been finally deactivated so let's go now to step 3 which is deauthorizing this computer on iTunes okay so let's go to iTunes and the reason why we're gonna need to deactivate the, com the computer is because if we don't deactivate it uh, in the future we may have problems since Apple only allows you to have five Macs uh, linked to each Apple ID account so then if I leave it on like that if I leave it on like that the problem is that in the future I cannot like unlink from this Mac so this step is actually if you wanna sell it okay so if you wanna sell your Mac just do it and un unauthorize it like you go to account and then you put authorizations, deauthorize this computer, okay? And right here you put your Apple ID and then you deauthorize it. Since I'm doing it just to get a fresh new Mac, but I still wanna use this Mac right here uh, with iTunes, I'm not gonna do it because there's no point. But you got the steps, if you wanna sell it, do it. And finally, the last step, we're gonna need to go to System Preferences one more time, and then you're gonna need to go to Security and Privacy, and what you're gonna need to do is turn off Firewall. Okay, if you have firewall turned on, like I have firewall one, all you want to do is uh, click on the lock to make changes right here. Just zoom in. So right here, click on the lock to make changes, and then turn off firewall. And then uh, I'm gonna do it with you because I need to do it as well. Okay, and then turn off firewall now it's turned off so it's just a layer of protection and uh, it's gonna make your life easier to restart and uh, clear your Mac uh, with it turned off okay finally now that it's all done and all the steps have been finished we can actually go and do it okay and you can actually go and clear the Mac so what you're gonna need to do is restart your Mac okay and then you restart it restart and hold command R <coughs> sorry so hold command R like I'm holding right here command R and then your Mac should reboot on recovery mode 
if my camera focuses Jesus Christ alright finally so uh, I since you, you see the bar right here you can already release command R your computer is already restarting on recovery mode okay after the bar loads uh, you're gonna be prompted with Mac OS utilities and what you're gonna need to do is go to this utility okay this uh, will allow you to repair your disk so let's hit continue everything here is a little bit slow because my computer is awfully slow okay zoom out alright so okay all you're gonna need to do is hit Apple SSD that's the Macintosh HD, HD so that's the hard drive itself but it's just SSD memory uh, and then you're gonna need to go and hit erase and then name it I'm just gonna put Macintosh H, whoa, HD and then that's the format that's the scheme don't touch it just go and hit erase and now it is erasing okay apparently the erase process is complete so then hit done and as you guys can see I clicked on Macintosh HD and we can see that I have 120.77 gig free and just used 20, 221 megabytes used so then it's a completely clear HD now what you're gonna need to do is reinstall Mac OS so let's just zoom out a little bit right here and what you're gonna need to do is quit this utility after the erasing process is done you're supposed to quit this utility and you're gonna be prompted back with that image from the recovery mode page that you can reinstall Mac OS but bad things happen and if you just shut down your computer what happens is you're gonna be prompted with a flashing folder icon with a question mark inside it and the reason for that is that the Mac cannot find this operating system to boot from so what you're gonna need to do is you gonna see that flashing icon and what you have to do to fix it is turn off your computer by holding the power button and then after it's turned off you hold the power button one more time very briefly for like one second and then immediately hit again command R after you hit command R that that's gonna put to the recovery mode force put in the recovery mode again but before it goes through the recovery mode you're gonna see this globe icon right here and then this status bar indicated indicator so it is just rebooting from the internet okay so don't worry about it if that happened to you or if you couldn't find the quit button and it just shut down your computer no problem after this screen you're gonna be prompted with the recovery mode screen and we can resume with the process no problem okay you're back with the OS X utilities that seems an old-fashioned screen but no problem uh, so what you're gonna need to do now is very easy is the last step is reinstall OS X and hit continue uh, the problem is, it's going to install OS X Mountain Lion. I'm not sure if this happened because it screwed up the process and then uh, got back to this old fashioned screen or because this is a normal process and everybody has go through OS X Mountain Lion again. But no problem because after you can update it and then you're going to be up and running the newest version. So let's just go ahead and hit continue. Funny thing is that it's taking back, you know, those all those old menus. It's it's interesting when you when you're using Mac for so many years and then you just forget uh, so quickly. Okay, so you select the disk, install, continue, and then it's gonna download the parts and your computer will automatically restart. After the download, I was prompted with the stalling screen, so it's another 19 minutes. So it's 30 minutes to download. Another 19 to install. Let's keep going. Okay, so after like an hour, we are prompted with the welcome screen. That's the screen you get when you open your fresh new Mac. Okay, keep in mind that this is an old operating system that I'm not sure why that happened, but still, your computer is fresh reset, everything is working, and now you just gotta put your information, Apple ID, and everything. And after the process is done and your computer really, really boots up, you just update to the latest version, which is Mac OS Sierra. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe if you like this video. This is very important to me. And also like and comment. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.